Hey guys, it's Lori. Today is VLCD 25. Getting close to the end. And I'm about ready for some different foods. I'm actually doing okay with it. And you know what? I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me through this round because it means so much to me. And it's actually, it actually hasn't been that difficult to stay on track because my head was in a really good place. My mindset was very strong when I started, but just knowing that I'm reporting to you guys every day and you guys are cheering me on, it's just such a huge motivation, seriously. I can't thank you guys enough. Let's get on to it and let me get, show you guys my weigh in from today and that's actually down 0.2 from yesterday. So not too bad, that's about what I would expect I suppose if not even a little gain since I had that big two pound drop yesterday. So let me go ahead and show you my food from yesterday. Okay, the LCD 24, we're getting ready to leave for a ball game. It's about four o'clock right now and I haven't eaten yet so I need something in my belly before we go. So I got two boiled eggs right here. I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on them and eat them and go. All right, I'm about to sit down and have an evening snack. I'm gonna have some yogurt tonight. I debated on cottage cheese or yogurt. Decided on yogurt. I'm gonna use these orange tangerine meal drops. Let's see. A couple squirts of those. It's the Faye zero percent yogurt. This is a snack or dessert or whatever you want to call it, but it's my second protein. So I didn't end up eating any McDonald's. I, I had mentioned that in my video yesterday that I was getting McDonald's for Hayden, which I did. And I had considered getting myself some McDonald's too, but I didn't. I decided, nah, I'll just go ahead and have a couple boiled eggs real quick. And that actually really satisfied me pretty well. And I mean, I know that probably sounds silly, but it really did. I mean, that's the only thing I had had to eat all day. And then later I was a little hungry and I thought, you know, I don't want to really go to bed hungry because I thought if I wait another hour or two before I go to bed, I'm going to get hungry. So I went ahead and had the yogurt and I was happy. I was very satisfied. So two boiled eggs and a serving of yogurt is what I had yesterday. So I'm actually not on my way to work today. I've already worked for the day and it is 3.30, it's 3.26 actually in the afternoon and I'm off to the bank and I have a couple errands I have to do and then I'm going to Brendan's ball game. This is the third ball game this week and I can't remember, I don't think there's one Saturday, but yeah, three games this week, evening games, but this game starts at five and it takes about 40 minutes to get there. So I made myself a playlist. In my, it's in my watch later playlist for some videos to listen to on the way. I can't always do that though with, there's actually very few videos that I'm subscribed to that I'll do that with and actually just listen to them while I'm, while I'm off driving somewhere or busy doing something because most of them I like to sit down and watch because you guys are like showing me stuff or there's stuff I wanna see, you know? So I had to be choosy on which videos I put in the playlist, so, something that I could actually just listen to. What the heck is going on? Something's going on on the freeway. Line painting, line painting ahead. Oh, so of course we have to slow down to next to nothing because the painted lines. Anyway, um, total distraction. But yeah, I have a playlist and after I get done running my errands, I'm gonna start my playlist and listen to some videos. So after that, I'll go back and comment. Sometimes, I don't know, I don't do it very often, but once in a while, you might see some notifications coming in from me pretty quickly. It's where you might think, there's no way she watched that whole video because she just left a comment and leaving another and another. That's because I've already listened to it in the van and I'm just going back to comment. <laughs> so yeah. That's why that happens once in a while. All right, guys, when I get to the game, I'm gonna be early. At least I think I'm gonna be early. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you John's stats. 
I had a request for John's stats and I haven't really told you the stats throughout this round so I'll do that when I get to the game because I wrote it down so I'll see you then I'm on a quest you guys can you see the Dollar General I'm just leaving a Dollar General it's a different one so it's the third one I've been to and I still can't find that doggone oil-free moisturizer but I'm gonna find it I'm gonna have fun trying <laughs> Okay, I am here and I'm not terribly early because I stopped off at Dollar General and I didn't plan on doing that. So, um, very quickly I'm going to go ahead and give you John's stats. I wrote him down so I'm going to kind of look at the paper here. But he did a 24 day round so he did his last injection yesterday. He's in his 72 hour transition period to get the HCG out of his system right now. So, um, he lost a total of 15.4 pounds that's below average for a man he started out at 241 and he's down to 225.6 and he is six foot three so anyway he lost 15.4 pounds that's only 0.6 a day 0.669 i think it was but it's definitely below average because a man usually averages a pound a day on an hcg round so the reason it's below average is because he, well, he had two cheats. One of them, he did gain like three pounds. He ate a couple of chicken chunks. And another time he ate a piece of pizza, but he didn't gain anything from that. In fact, I think he lost a little bit the next day. But anyway, he's he has eaten a lot of off-protocol foods like um, bacon bits on his salads. And he does that, does that on a regular basis. And shredded cheese on his salads that's not allowed I mean he's just done too many off protocol things to be at the average that he should have been at so you know um, yeah he should have lost a good 20 pounds but that's his stats and he said that he's perfectly happy with his round so yeah that's what his stats are and I am gonna go watch the ball game so guys like you probably already figured out there's probably going to be some baseball clips at the end. It is really strange weather because uh, at noon today it was 47 degrees and the wind was really cold and now it's 69 and it's 5 o'clock. It's 69 and the wind isn't cold anymore so it's weird. But our dugout's way over there, and all of our fans are traipsing all the way across there. It's like, why? I parked clear over there on the other side of the fence by the scoreboard, if you can see it. I'm not walking clear around there. That's silly. <laughs> I get my shoes all muddy. And it smells out here, you guys. Oh my god, it smells like hog crap. Really bad. There's some serious manure somewhere. That way, apparently, since it's blowing this way. Wow. Brendan's warming up pitcher over there. Team's out there warming up. bottom of the fifth. The weather says it's 70 degrees, but I don't believe it for a second. That wind is cold now. <laughs> so what I said before, forget it. The wind's not warm anymore. I'm freezing. Game over. We lost six to three. So 
Brennan's probably not going to be overly happy tonight. He actually didn't do bad, though. He pitched really good, but his first couple batters that were up, he didn't do very good, honestly. He walked them. After that, though, he pitched really well. But they took him out in the third inning and put in another guy that's not very experienced. So I'm thinking his shoulder might have been bothering him because it's been bothering him for a couple days. Not from pitching. It's just, I don't know why. It's just been bothering him. But I don't know why else that they would have replaced him that early in the game when he was doing well. We pretty much lost because our team really had a lot of silly errors today. <laughs> One of the kids stole second and he made it, but he slid and his hand was on it. And he just moved his hand and stood up like three or four feet away from the base and just slowly walked to it. Well, the second baseman still had the ball and he tagged him. It's like, what are you doing? Off to go home and get something to eat. I'm hoping that I can listen to some videos on the way home because on the way here, about half of the drive, I had no signal. So it's like, well, that stinks. I made up a playlist to listen to on the way here. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm hoping to be able to listen to some videos on the way home. And that's it for today, guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.